<laughs> Dean is always number one. We have to operate quickly, I think. For this, for some reason, I got to find out. I haven't got an answer yet. This one shuts down right away. Yeah, but this is the same one that uh, that kicks me off every time yesterday. Remember that? All right, let's, we're waiting on a few. Waiting on Ali and Julia and Aaliyah. Guys, if worse comes to worse, if I get kicked off, I'm just going to do a video of it and then post it. That's the best I could do. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to let us. That's the whole problem. I got to figure out what, what the deal is with this. It says we got six people. I only see three. Waiting on those kids. My kids teach him. Oh, Julia's here. All right, we're waiting on. Uh... Okay, let's get started while we can. Remember, if we get booted, I'm just going to post the link uh, for you guys later. All right, so real quick, I want you to look here at this, this, this assignment right here. And you look at my chart, the first one right here, four and 85 hundredths. And we're timesing by 10. That means each number is going to move one spot to the next column. One spot. So... Basically, what you should end up with is if it moves, everything moves one, the four moves one spot, the eight moves one spot, the decimal doesn't move at all. That's what you should end up with for your answer. See how the arrows are moving each one, one place value column, just one spot. And that's really all we need to get understood right now. So the next one is the same number times 100. So each number now is going to move two spots. So the four is going to jump from the ones, the tens, and now it's going to land in the hundreds because it's got to go two spots. The eight is going to go from the tens to the ones and then land in the tens spot. The five, which is in the hundreds, is going to go through the tens and land in the one spot for your answer of 485. Give that some eye time. Look at that so you understand. It went two spots because 100 has two zeros. Please type in OK if you understand one and two. Do you understand why it's moving? Just type OK in your, uh, in your response so I could see it. I uh, got Julie. Dean, how about you, Dean? You got that point? I'm glad you're understanding it better. Good, Jack. Good. Okay, the next one is times a thousand. 
So you should say to yourself, okay, each number is going to move three spots. So the four is going to go one, two, three, and land in the thousands. The eight is going to go from the tenths, one, two, three, land in the hundreds. The five is going to go from the hundreds, one, two, three, land in the tens. And now the ones is blank, has a blank. So I just got to add a zero for that. And I don't need a decimal. And that's what that one should look like. Take a look at it. Each digit moved three columns. Well done, Dean. Thank you for the answer. Awesome. Okay, without looking at anybody else's answer, the next one is <clears throat> 789 thousandths times 100. 789 thousandths times 100. So each digit is going to shift two spots. Please put your answer in your grid right there. Each answer is going to move two spots. Seven. You get it? Good, Julia. 789 thousandths. Move it two spots. I like to have the chart. It just makes it easier for me to see it. And the decimal, I, show, I see the decimal just standing there. As soon as you have your answer, put it up. Decimal 789, Jack. Decimal 789, 789 thousandths. Okay, Matt's got an answer up. I'm not going to say if he's right or not. We might be getting kicked off soon. We're at that seven-minute mark. Dean, I'm waiting for your answer. Jackie, I'm waiting for you. Allie, I'm waiting on yours. Each number moves two spots. Dean, 789 thousandths times 100. What? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to give you the answer. You'll start with the next one, Dean. Here's the answer. No, that's not the answer. Is that the answer? Good. Okay, next one. One and 23 hundredths. Take a look. One and 23 hundredths times 1,000. Each number's got to go three spots. Ali, I got you. I got you. One and 23 hundredths times 1,000. Put your answer in the sidebar. One and 23 thousandths, a hundredths times a thousand. I'm going to do my answer. Jack's showing off over there, getting it before me. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is where you add the zero. Let me see. Dean, think about it. It had to move three. Good, Dean. Good. No, Dean, not good. Dean, the one is in the ones column, right? It's got to move three spots. So it's got to go to the tens. It's got to go to the hundreds, and it lands in the thousands. You have it. Yeah, it's hard to do it in your head, Dean. Get paper. Get paper. Do it on pen and paper. I can't do it in my head. That's not saying much, though. Okay, the answer. One thousand two hundred thirty. Three spots each digit. Yeah, I can't do it in my head, Dean. I don't know how you could even come close. You have paper? Okay, good. Next one. 15 and 87 hundredths times 10. One spot. 15 and 87 hundredths times 10. That's one spot. Yeah, it's okay. That's why we get it wrong. I'm allowed to get it wrong. It's what extra helps about. 15 and 87 hundredths times 10. One spot it's going to move. Jack's firing away. feel like we're in class. Loving it. Love when Jack gets in these zones. Let's see if he's right, though, this hot shot. 
looking close. Jack is good. Julie is good. Matt's good. Dean, we're waiting on Allie. How are we doing, Allie? Give you three seconds. Waiting on Allie. Sure you have it. I hope your screen didn't freeze on you. There's Allie. And there's the answer. 158 and 7 tenths. It moved one spot. Okay, the next one I messed up a little bit. It's 2 and 897 thousandths. See this cross out right here? Don't worry about that. It's garbage. Here, yeah, 2 and 897 thousandths times 100. Times 100. Put your answer there in the block. Each number's got to go two spots now. Two spots. Look here. Jack is on fire today. On fire. I said my answer. Allie, who are you saying it to? I can't hear you. <laughs> Where's Allie? I got you, Allie. I got your last answer. Give me your next answer. No, it's not hard, Dean. Stay positive. You're just moving it digits for the amount of spots. That's it. Don't talk yourself out of it by saying it's hard. You have to write it down. That's the key. And then look at it. Even if you make columns, like me, I make these columns and these graphs. It makes life a lot easier. And I just move digits. Allie, put your answer down there. Have you done it? Answer to that one is 289 and 7 tenths. Okay, moving on. Okay, next one. Got a few more before we get to the next round. Thank you, Allie. This one is this is the hardest one so far. This one is going to be times a thousand, and it's a big number to begin with. Six hundred seventy-six and forty-five hundredths. You see it? Write it down. Times a thousand. Times a thousand. I'm going to leave it up there. Write it down. Times a thousand. Now you got to go all the way to the millions, uh, Dean. Ten millions at times. You're only going up to the thousands with decimals now. Okay, I'm going to do my answer. I got to move it three spots. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Make sure to fill in the necessary zeros. Okay, I'm looking. Jack, what, what do you have, the answer key in front of you? Holy cow. Crushing it today, dude. Each number, Dean, goes three spots. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I love to know what's going on. I'm not sure what your, your thing means. How you doing with this one, Dean? <clears throat> Just move. Each digit moves to the bigger column. Three spots. Each one's going three. So once you move the first number, just fill in the blanks. First one goes. The six goes. Everything goes next to it. And if you need zeros, fill in with zeros. Oh, you missed a zero. You missed a zero, though, Dean. Because there's nothing in the ones column now for you. This should have been your answer. You're not doing really bad, by the way. You're right, almost right there. That's the answer. It's hard, bud, but you got to write it down and you got to know your place value. So if it will help you, Dean, why don't you do lines up until the millionth spot and make sure everything, everything is filled in instead of just leaving numbers blank. You got to have that decimal point down there and you got to make sure every single column is filled in from ones until the highest number. 
Graph paper is a good idea. I agree with you, Dean. But you can make your own graph paper like I did. So I made graph paper. That's all you need to do is make columns. Now, I'm going to look at your answer. It's so, so small. Yes. Okay, good. All right, next one. Where am I? The paper's everywhere. This is the next one. Okay. This one's not as hard. 2 and 78. Oh, wait, it's 278 thousandths. Did we do this one already? No. 2 and 78 thousandths times 10. One spot. Ah, oh, Nikki Tantillo. You should get a pen and paper and do this too, brother. <laughs> Gonna move one spot. Two, seven. I'm waiting. Let's see, Dean. Dean, I want you to do me a favor. Write this out for me on a piece of paper. Write that out, Dean. Decimal two seven eight. Write it out. Did you write it out? Okay, now I'm going to ask you a question. What column is the two in? Answer me on the side. What column is the two in? Just put your answer in. What's the name, Dean, what's the name of the column that the two is in? In this one right here. Decimal 278. What column is the two in? It didn't move two, Dean. It only moved... It was only supposed to move one spot, right? Because it was time 278 times 10. So there's one zero. So what's the if it's the two is in the tenths and it moves only one spot bigger, what spot does the two end up in? What column? Give me your answer in the sidebar. If the two is in the tenths and it goes to the next spot bigger. What column is that? They all move, Dean. Look. Every number moves, Dean. The 2 was here. The 7 was here. Now it's there. The 8 was here. Now it's there. Every single number moved one spot. Every See the 7? Dean, the seven was in the hundreds. Now it's in the tenths. The eight was in the thousands. Now it's in the hundreds. Each number moved one spot. Matty, you're wrong. Oh, good, Dean. All right. That makes me happy to hear that answer. Matt, what did you do wrong? Oh, no, you didn't do it wrong, Matt. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm, my eyes are blinding me. Uh, I like that answer, Dean. Okay, here we go. Next one. This one is the hardest one, Dean, so I hope you're ready for it. This way you need your lines. So, oh, I got to go a lot of spots. I got to make sure I have enough numbers. Or ask yourself, what column is it in? What column is it going to? Ready? It is, where is it? 9,324 times 1,000. 9,324 times 1,000. It's got to move three spots. So if I'm in the thousands column, that nine has got to go three spots and everything else follows it. Okay. So thousands, it goes to the ten thousands, hundred thousand, millions. So the nine should be in the millions and everything else got to follow right next to it. And if there's any blanks before the ones, you got to fill it in with zeros. Let's see. Jack, I, amazing. Hope you teach a Nikki this one. <laughs> oh, I miss you, Nikki. Let's see those answers.
Come on, Dean. I know you could do it. The nine was in the thousands. It moves three spots. The three was in the hundreds. It moves three spots. The two was in the tens. It moves three spots. The four was in the ones. It moves three spots. Everything else gets filled in with zeros. If you don't have anything for the hundreds or the, or the tens or the ones, fill it in with zeros. Yeah, I'm sorry. I knew what you meant, Jack. Dean, how are we doing with this one? Waiting on. We're waiting. Give him another second or two. <laughs> Dean, don't get frustrated. Now take a look at the answer. It's nine million. 324,000. You can do it, Dean. Did you not, what are you not understanding about numbers moving? Do you understand, where is the nine and what column is the nine in to start? The nine is in what column to start? 9,324. What column is the nine in? Just write it out there. And don't get frustrated. Let me see, Al. You got it. Dean, tell me what column the nine is in. The nine is in the thousands column. It has to move three spots from there. That's it. That's all you're doing. You're moving that, and every other number is going to follow it. Yes, Dean. So now, in your head, count to three. What's the next column after the thousands? Ten thousands? Hundred thousands? <laughs> hundred thousands and millions. So that means put the nine in the millions column and every other digit now moves next to that nine. One goes to the nine then goes to the next number, then to the next number. And you should end up with three blanks. You need the hundreds filled in, the tens filled in and the ones filled in zero, zero, zero. It's the only number you could use. All right, we'll try and we're going to keep working. And, Dean, if we have to do FaceTime to figure it out uh, tomorrow, we will. Don't get frustrated. All right, uh, where am I? That one we did. Nikki said I should not because he's smarter than me. Uh, Nikki, listen, Nikki's one in a million. There's no question about it. Okay, next one. Where am I, guys? Okay, here we go. This was a little trickier. All right, Dean, it's all right. We can't give up. We're going to keep working. All right, you have 34 and 5 tenths, right? And they told you the answer was, excuse me, 3 and 45 hundredths. It's this one right here. And the answer turns out to be 34 and 5 tenths. How many spots did the 3 move? Everybody answer on the side. How many spots did the three move? It went from the ones to the tens. How many spots is that? How many place value spots does the three move? The answer should be, Dean, the three didn't go backwards, bud. The three went from the ones to the tens, right? Ones to tens, so it went one spot. So three and 45 hundredths times, put one zero there and a one in front of it, times 10 gets you 34 and 5 tenths. Because the amount of spots it moves is the amount of zeros that are going to go in front of the one. Now, let's look at the four. How many spots does the four move from here to there? Thank you, Julia. Yes, times 10. So now this one. 
How many spots is the four move to the four? How many spots is that? This is in the 10. What is it? Let me see what it is. It's in the hundreds column, and now it's in the 10,000s column. How many spots is that? Yes, Dean. Two. Yes. So add two zeros to one. What number do you get? Should be times what? It moved two spots, so it's times what? Thank you, Matt. So what is it times then? Two spots it moved, so that means two zeros. How many spots did it move? I mean, times what? Times 100. Yes. Yes. Yes, Dean. Well done. Well done. Little by little. We don't have to have it by heart tonight. Let's have little by little. Two, Julia. So how many spots did it move? Two. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. This is a very hard one. This is a little bit more challenging. Here, we don't know what number we started with. We know that we ended up with this, and we know that it moved one spot because it was times 10. So blank times 10 got me this. So when I don't know the original number, I got to move back. So what was this number originally? If I times it this blank by 10 and got that, what is this number going to be now? Let me see, Julia. That means the three, this is what the answer was. I got to go backwards one spot to find out what I started with. Dean, yes, Dean. Beautiful. There's your answer. 34 hundredths. Because now if I look at it, 34 times 10, move it one spot, and I get that answer. Let's look at the next one. It's times 100. So these numbers move twice. This number here moved twice. So where did it start? If it already, if I times it by 100, and now it's in the hundreds column, where did it start? Give me your answer. Where did it start? Three, five, four, 354, 354, blank times 100 equals 354. Looking for some answers there, guys. It's going to move two spots back, remember. Up, oh, Jack, Dean, we're using different numbers here. Three, five, four, the numbers aren't changing. They're three, five, four. They just have to shift two spots. So it's blank times 100 equals 354. Jack, you went too many spots in that answer above. The answer to this one should have been this. Three and 54 hundredths. <laughs> Sorry, team. Three, because if you times it by 100, each this, this number moved twice, and that's how it ended up there. Okay, last one of the night. Time is it? Eight o'clock. Last one of the night. If I have this... And I ended up with this. This is what I had. Times it by either 10, 100, or 1,000. And I got this. What's my answer? 10, 100, or 1,000 for this. 10, 100, or 1,000. How many spots did the 6 and the 2 move? The answer is 100. Good job. All right, guys. Dean, do me a favor. Or Matt and, and uh, Jack and Julia. Watch it again. Look at it again and understand. Every number's moving the same amount. The zeros are telling them 
how many spots to move. That's it. There's nothing else. Their numbers aren't changing. The no, the zeros tell you how many spots to move. That's it. Look at the chart and say, okay, if it's times 10, every number is going to shift one spot. Every number. If it's times 100, every number is going to shift two spots. If it's times 1,000, every number is going to shift three spots. All right, guys? We're going to keep working on it. Don't expect to get it overnight. We're already winning. You're already winning. Trust me when I tell you that. Don't get discouraged. Very proud of you. Thanks for logging in. Now, put school away. Put school away. Go relax. Go play a video game. Go have some fun. Put school away. We'll see you tomorrow.